Hey there, one of the most obvious algorithm questions that you can expect to be asked at the JavaScript interview is write a function to reverse a string, especially if you are just starting your career as a software engineer. In this video, I'm going to present five different solutions for this question. So the first one is using for loop. The most straightforward and one might say easy approach is to use a for loop. In this approach, we can use decrementing or incrementing loop to iterate through each letter of the string and create a new reverse string. Let's see with an example. Let's see we have one string. Um, for example, we can write down um, the truth will set you free. This is one of the very popular line. So we will simply reverse this string using different methods. So let's write down one function. Let's call it reverse string. Okay, and we'll pass string as an argument. Here, what we can do, we can take one variable reverse as a blank as an empty string we will look through the string variable i is equal to string dot length okay it will count the string uh, the length of the string so variable i is equal to string dot length minus one i greater than equal to 0 and i minus minus so we can use this decrementing loop for example let's see for the logic what we can do reverse is plus equal to it will concurrent the string string of i okay and then we will return that reverse string. So this is the function. Let me call out this function. Console dot log and we'll pass string here. Let me open the console. As you can see, it is now reversed. The truth field set you free so this is the reverse string you can use this same function using eh 6 method as well okay eh 6 introduces a new for loop syntax such as for of it eliminates the possibility of making lots of typos errors by declaring the loop okay let's see with an example with es 6 let me just add comment using for loop okay and we can for loop using eh6 function in function you can create and string as an argument let me comment it out okay. here let me just copy this from variable for the loop is same let char character of string okay uh, let me just change this mm, character is not the uh, uh, correct you have a variable name we should use something else called uh, str okay we can use this here we can reverse is equal to str new plus reverse okay here let's return that reverse variable 
So as you can see, it is working. Let me clean the string and yes, it's working fine. So you can use this ES6 method as well. It's a little bit clean and neat and it looks fine. So this was the first method using for loop. You can always use. I'm commenting that out. The second method is reverse method for arrays. So um, when your interviewer didn't specially ask you to avoid a built-in reverse method, you should definitely take advantage of it. So in JavaScript, the reverse method exists only for arrays. So first we need to use split method to transform the string into an array. Then we can apply reverse method and finally we can use join function to join it back together. So it is very simple. Let me just create that function again. Same name, so we don't have to rewrite the string. What we can do, we can return string dot split. It's P L I T. Yeah, split is a function. Okay, dot reverse is a JavaScript inbuilt function, and then we will join it using an empty string. Okay, let's see. It's working as expected. Yeah. The string reverse is fine. So you can use that reverse method if uh, interviewer or someone have asked you not uh, you uh, not to avoid this reverse method. It is built in JavaScript function. But you have to take care that you need to first split and then join again. So let me comment it out. Using reverse method. Okay, so this was good. Yeah. The third method is using ES6 spread syntax plus reverse methods for arrays. So ES6 introduced one more way to splitting our string into an array, and that is using spread operator. Even though this solution is similar to the previous one, what I believe it is, it looks and it looks good and pretty great. So let me show you the function, the same function. Parameter and return. This is the syntax for spread operator. Three dots. String dot reverse dot join and join with empty string fine let me change the string so we can test yeah it is fine so this is third, me third method using ps6 spread index okay this was an easy the fourth is using the reduce method so one of the most unconventional approach that i don't use i don't uh, use normally but you can always use it only works for arrays so first we need to split our string then we can we can use that values into an empty string that becomes a reverse of that original string. So let me show you with an example. Function reverse string string parameter return string dot split we will split this string first dot reduce is the JavaScript method and in that we can pass parameters the reverse and some other variable 
an arrow with other variable plus reverse and the second parameter will be an empty string so this is the reduce method in es6 let's see it's working fine so here is the syntax string dot split with empty string dot reduce method and reduce method there are two parameters the first one second one and in the in the uh, when we return this the reduce function it will just switch the variables and it will reduce and it will reverse the string so this is very neat and clean method using reduce method okay and the last method for reversing the string in javascript is recursion so the last but not most certain not the least approach to solving the reverse string problem is recursion we are making the function to call itself string dot length until it hits our base case an empty string so let me show you with an example what i am trying to explain here the same function okay. in function first we need to check if string is empty then it will return a string okay else return reverse yeah, reverse string with the function itself and str string dot substring of one plus str of zero this is very interesting let's see It's working fine. Let me change the string. Yeah, it's working fine. So what we have done, we have called this reverse string function recursively. This is very neat method. And we can refactor this same function in another way. Let me comment it out. Here, what we can do, we can return itself the string and we can use the ternary operator here. Reverse string function of string dot substring of one as we used before plus string of zero or string itself so this is the ternary operator and it will return the same output with reverse the string this is really good so now that uh, we learned the five different ways to reverse a string and i hope you will be able to use these methods in your interview or during your project development Please subscribe to my channel if you are new and keep supporting. See you next time around. Thank you.